Hello, this is Scott Edward Henry. For more information on what I do, as well as additional meditations to download, visit scottedwardhenry.com. And that's Scott with one T. And in each one of these meditations, I begin with some brief introductory information on how to get the most out of your personal meditation. And if you've heard this before, you can skip ahead to the three-minute point on the recording. Throughout this meditation, if your mind comes up with different details or you're imagining things that don't belong, perhaps you drift into certain feelings, I would just go ahead and recognize that they're there. This happens for everyone. It happens for me as well. Uh, But there's always some meaning behind it, whether it's your brain working out things throughout the day, uh, but also could be certain psychic information that's popping through the channel of your imagination. Once we get into this inner seed of awareness, this deepest part of yourself, you'll find that you have access to information in ways that are not normal for your waking mind. Things can arrive in your brain in a way that seem to be electrified or meaningful. I would just go ahead and grab those things and make a note of them later after the meditation. It's good to keep a little record of this because it shows how your mind produces symbols and what these symbols can mean to you. Which brings me to the point that I always encourage people to keep a meditation journal. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. In fact, I find that going out and purchasing a special, unique, leather-bound journal kind of sets you up for disaster because you only want to write down the most special things. And that's how we should be approaching meditation. Not as this sacred leather-bound journal, but as a marble composition book where we're going to make mistakes, we're going to scribble things out, our mind is a mess, and that's okay. The more you write in your journal, the better. So it doesn't have to be something so special that you're only waiting to receive the best stuff to write down. If you can allow yourself five minutes after the meditation to just quickly ground yourself and just go ahead and write down the date and the time, maybe how you were feeling during the meditation, maybe you had certain feelings or sights that your imagination brought to you, or maybe you got very clear messages from someone in spirit. All of these things are really valuable to write down because what happens is, just like in a dream, you may think after a meditation that all of this information will remain with you. But I have found that just returning to wakeful consciousness, going through your day, you can start to lose touch with some of the little details that happened during meditation in a way that you could go back and read over your notes and be surprised that you had forgotten certain things. So this is a really excellent practice to get into, keeping a meditation journal. Okay, and with that said, let's go ahead and begin the meditation now. Okay, so let's begin the meditation now. And I want you to take a deep breath in now at your own gentle pace. And as you exhale... I want you to feel your body relaxing and letting go of all the tension and stress. So at your own pace, taking a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, letting go of all the muscle tension, relaxing all the joints and muscles of your body. And focusing on every breath that you take in. Feeling your chest expanding and exhaling, letting go of all the tension and stress. So just watch the rhythm of your breathing and taking a nice, long, slow inhale and trying to use the same amount of time to exhale. And it can help you to relax by drawing your attention down to your feet. As you take in this breath, I want you to feel that your feet are relaxing. And focusing on your feet as you exhale, you can imagine that all the tension is releasing from the base of your feet. Just from the base of your feet, imagine all of this stress and tension exiting your feet. And breathing in, I want you to imagine this nice, warm, soothing energy breathing into your feet. And exhaling all tension and stress. Draw your focus and attention to the muscles in your feet, in your toes, in your heel, in your ankles. Feeling now the muscles and the joints 
and feeling this warm, soothing energy with every breath that you take, letting go of all the tension from the joints and muscles of your feet. In fact, it can help you to go deeper into a state of relaxation by allowing your imagination to sense and feel a very warm, life force energy. So relax your feet now and go deeper. Relax and go deeper. You can sense and feel this energy moving up into your ankles and up into your calves. So focus your attention now on your lower legs, pulling this relaxing energy up, this warm, soothing energy swirling into the muscles of your calves and up into your knees. Feel this energy moving up into your knees with every breath that you take, allowing that tension to release. Letting go of all the tension in your knee joints, all that cartilage and muscle tissue and nerve endings, just letting go of all the tension and stress. Allowing this warm, soothing energy to permeate every molecule in your knees. Moving up into your thigh muscles now, Relax and go deeper with every breath that you take. Relax and go deeper, moving this energy up into the upper legs, swirling and healing as it moves, this warm sense of relaxing energy. This warm, soothing energy moving up into your legs now. Sense and feel it, letting go of all the tension and stress. Relaxing the muscles of your legs will help you to go deeper, so relax them now and allow yourself to go deeper into a state of spiritual awareness. Feel this energy now as it moves up into your hips. Coming up into your hips now. Sense and feel this energy moving up into your lower back. Remember it's relaxing as it moves, visualizing this energy, this warm, soothing feeling, moving up into the muscles of your lower back and up into your middle back now. And with every breath that you take, you can sense and feel the muscles from your middle back, releasing all the tension, letting go of all the stress. Just let it slide right off with every breath that you take. Feeling yourself going deeper into a state of spiritual awareness and true relaxation. And it feels good to let go of all that muscle tension, so just go ahead and let it go now. Relax and go deeper. Relax and go deeper with every breath that you take. Sense and feel this energy moving from your middle back and up into your shoulder blades. And it heals as it moves up into your shoulders. And you can let your shoulders drop down now, letting go of all that tension and stress that you held there. And it's being replaced with a warm, soothing, life-giving energy swirling into the muscles of your shoulders now. It helps you to relax and let go of all that tension. And you can feel this energy moving down from your shoulders into your arms. So relax the muscles of your triceps, of your biceps, and let your arms relax. And this energy moves down from your upper arms, down into your elbows. You can feel it sliding down now, down into your arms, up to your wrists, relaxing as it moves. So go ahead and relax the muscles of your wrists now and go deeper. Relax and go deeper. And you can feel this energy moving into your hands now, and the muscles of your hands and out into your fingers, and the joints and your knuckles and out into your fingertips. And your hands are now encased in this warm, soothing energy, this healing, life force energy, as your hands are now completely relaxed. And I want you to draw your focus back up to your shoulders, where they're dropped down, letting go of all that tension and stress. And sense and feel that energy there from your shoulders that's relaxing and soothing. And imagine that it's cascading down now into your torso, down the front of your chest, Relaxing the muscles of your chest will help you to go deeper, so relax them now, letting go of all that tension. With every breath that you take, feeling your chest opening up now, letting go of all that constricting tension, releasing all that energy. 
And it's being replaced with a warm, soothing, life-giving energy, this healing energy. And this energy now moves from the muscles in your chest down your torso, into your diaphragm, and into your stomach. And you can feel it moving and relaxing the muscles of your stomach now, letting go of all that tension you held in your stomach, just letting it go with every breath that you take, allowing your muscles to relax. And you can feel that energy now moving down into your hips, relaxing your hips again. Sense and feel that energy from your shoulders again, relaxing those shoulders, letting those shoulders drop down, letting go of all that tension and stress. And you can feel that energy moving up the back of your neck now, pulling that warm sensation of healing and life-giving energy, moving up into your neck muscles. Relaxing all those muscles in your neck. You can feel it swirling through every nerve ending and fiber of your neck. All the molecules and cells of your neck are just letting go of all that conflicting energy, all that stress and tension from the week that you had stored there. It's now releasing as you breathe in and let go of all that tension from your neck. So relax the muscles of your neck now and go deeper into a state of spiritual awareness. Relax and go deeper. Sense and feel this energy moving up from your neck and up into the back of your head. I want you to imagine that you can sense and feel this warm, soothing energy moving up the back of your head and up onto the top of your head. And finally, down into your forehead. You can feel and sense this healing energy swirling down into your forehead and all the muscles of your forehead relaxing. And you can go deeper still by relaxing the muscles of your eyes. So as you breathe in now, letting go of all that tension and exhaling, releasing all the tension from your eyes, letting go of all that stress from your eyes, relax and go deeper. Letting this energy move down your face now, feeling it going into your cheeks, relaxing the muscles in your cheeks, and swirling down into your chin and your mouth and your jaw. So go ahead and just unpart your lips slightly as your jaw is now relaxing, breathing in this warm, comfortable energy as your face muscles are now totally relaxed. You can feel this energy moving down from your chin and into the front of your neck, where your whole body is now feeling totally at ease, totally relaxed. I want you to imagine now that you're standing in a field. Use your imagination to see this beautiful blue sky with the sun hanging in the sky, just the right angle at just the right temperature. And you're standing in this field and the sun is beating down with a nice warm healing energy. And then you can look around in the field and hear all the sounds of a gentle breeze rolling through the field. And it's so calming and relaxing to be standing here in this perfect, beautiful field. And there's a tree there standing in the middle of the field. So I want you to walk over to this tree and see that it is totally alive Sense and feel the life moving through that tree as it's heated by the sun and nourished by the soil, getting everything that it needs in this field, perfectly strong and powerful and healthy. And as you turn off to the right, there's a whole line of trees lined up along the field. And you can see each one of these trees is alive and healthy, strong and powerful. And in fact, they're the beginning of a small forest. This line of trees is just at the edge of this forest, so you walk over to the line of trees now, where there's an opening. In fact, it's the beginning of a pathway into the forest. And you can step onto this path, walking now in between these trees. As you walk onto this path now, you feel yourself entering into a state of spiritual harmony with the life around you, looking up into the branches of the trees, how they're all full of leaves and full of life. Walking now in this magical forest, down this path, you can feel yourself going deeper into a state of spiritual harmony. Being at one with all this life in this forest, walking now along the path. And walking deeper on this path, you spot a red apple laying on the ground. 
this beautiful, perfect red apple. I want you to pick this apple up now and feel the texture in your hands. Turning it around with your fingers, feeling the texture of this apple on your hands. And as you do so, this beautiful red color seems to cascade around the sky and the trees, and everything takes on a red hue. And now you place the apple back on the ground, walking on this path now. You see an orange on the ground, and you pick up this orange, this beautiful bright orange color, and feel the texture of the orange in your hand. As you raise in spiritual vibration, as everything around you becomes orange, and the trees and the leaves and the branches take on an orange hue as you raise in vibration, and placing the orange back on the ground, walking further into the forest, deeper on this path. And now you come across this lemon laying on the ground, and go ahead and pick up this lemon now, and Imagine that you can feel the texture of this yellow lemon on your fingers and hand, feeling the texture of this lemon as everything around you becomes yellow. This vibrant yellow color now. Everything takes on a yellow hue around you as you place this lemon back down on the ground and walk further now into the forest, further along this path. And you come onto a lime now sitting on the path, this beautiful green lime. And go ahead and reach down and pick up that lime, and you can feel the texture in your hands. Running your fingers over the surface of the lime, and everything becomes radiant green. This beautiful green hue. And now you put the lime back down on the path, walking further on the path now, deeper into a state of spiritual awareness and higher vibration. And now on the path you see this singular blue flower, this beautiful velvety blue flower. And you can reach down and run your hands over the petals, and they're very velvety and beautiful. And everything around you takes on this royal bright blue color. As everything shifts into this royal blue, you can feel your own vibration raising up into a spiritual harmony. Walking further on the path now, you see on the ground a bunch of blueberries, And they're this deep indigo color, this color between blue and violet, this deep indigo color. As you look down at these blueberries, stoop down now and touch them with your finger. And as you do so, everything around you becomes indigo colored. And now you walk further along the path until you come to this clearing. And you see in this clearing a whole field of violets beautiful blooming violet colored flowers. As you step into this field of flowers, everything around you takes on a violet hue. In fact, it's so beautiful that you can lay down among them. So I want you to imagine yourself now sitting back into this beautiful field of violet colored flowers. And as you do so, you can feel this violet energy swirling around you. And this whole energy now becomes like a mist swirling around you. And looking up into the sky, you see that it's become nighttime. And this swirling energy continues to swirl around you, growing stronger. And as you look up at the stars, they're glowing with this bright, beautiful, white energy. And there's one star off in the distance that seems to grab your attention. In fact, it seems to be growing stronger and bigger, as if it were coming down towards you. And as this star descends, you notice that it's in fact a being made of light. This star is a being of light. On the count of three, it will be hovering before you, and you will see clearly this being of light now before you on the count of three, growing stronger. One, two... Three, and this being of light is now right before you, crystallized and manifested right before you. And you can accept it as any form that it takes. But this being is here for you with a message specifically for you. So I want you to go ahead and allow yourself some time to reflect on this and open your imagination up to receiving this message from this being. On the count of three, you will accept any sights, sounds, and feelings as a valid message from this being. One, two, three. Receive your message now.
And now it's come time to say goodbye, but know that this being is available to you at any time. So now I want you to imagine that this being is there hovering before you, smiling, knowing that in any form that it took, you have received the message into your soul. And it feels good to be in the presence of this being, but now it's time to say goodbye, knowing that at any time this being is available to you. So imagine now this being of light smiling and ascending back up into the sky, moving back up gently into the sky where it's just a little pinpoint of light, growing smaller and moving back up among the stars. And as you look there in the night sky, all of those stars are also beings of light, an infinite number of guidance and healing and messages. But now I want you to remember that you're laying there among this field of violet flowers. And as you come to a sitting position, imagine yourself sitting there among this field of violet colored flowers. And this gentle mist is swirling around you. And as you stand up and everything begins to take on this violet hue. And you can see the path there in the forest. So I want you to walk towards the path now. Feeling yourself walking towards that path away from the violet flowers. And as you do, you can see those big tall trees around you. Walking into the forest, you see these blueberries on the path. Where everything was an indigo color. Walking along the path now, deeper into the forest, there was that singular blue flower, that royal blue flower with the beautiful velvety petals. And now walking deeper into the forest, you see the lime there on the path, that radiant green lime. And you continue walking deeper into the forest, walking on this path now as you come across the lemon on the ground, that beautiful, vibrant yellow color. Moving further along the path, you see the orange on the ground, where everything was orange and everything had taken on an orange hue. And finally, walking still further, you come across that red apple. And there's that red apple where everything was a red color. Feeling now that you're walking along the path through this forest, you can see up ahead a clearing. Very bright light is coming through that opening. Walking on this path, you know that that's the field. Walking now up to this opening and out of the forest and into the field. Walking into the field now, where that beautiful sun was hanging in the clear blue sky. Remember this beautiful warm sun. Turning your face up towards the sun, you can feel the warmth beating down on you. And you see that lone tree there, standing in the middle of the field. I want you to walk up to that very strong and healthy tree, running your fingers over the bark, feeling the life force in that tree, and breathing in all of the healing life of this field. And on the count of five, you will return to the room feeling wide awake and alert, feeling yourself rising to the surface now with five, four, Three, two, and one. Open your eyes, feeling wide awake and alert and better than before. And go ahead and wiggle your toes and stretch out, stretch your arms, and come back to reality here. And if you are keeping a meditation journal, this would be the time to just reflect on anything that you saw and write down every piece of information that you can. And I hope you enjoyed this meditation. There are more meditations available at scottedwardhenry.com, and that's Scott with one T. Thank you again for listening, and have a wonderful day.